settling into third. Let's just get right into it. Okay, guys. So we are going to be baking a cake today. And we need to know how much sugar and flour to put in. But I just have these bowls and the little cupcake thing to make the cupcakes that I want to make little ones. How do I know how much um, to put in? Uh, that is when we use capacity. Capacity is the measurement of the greatest amount a container can hold. So how do I know how much this container can hold? Is there a, There's no measurement on it. I can't see exactly. But what does that mean to us? What does capacity mean to us? We use it in many ways, like baking. Uh, we use it in um, fueling up our car so we know how much our car how many gallons our car uses, so we know if we have enough money to fill up our tank. Uh, we use it in laundry to know how much soap to put in to, to make our clothes clean. Uh, we also use it in conservation of water, so conserving how much water. How much water do we really need so that we're not wasting a bunch, right? And so the first thing we're going to talk about is the customary units. So we have cups, which is our typical one we use while baking and cooking. We talk a lot about cups. So if you're baking, you're obviously going to need um, a couple cups of sugar in the recipe I'm leaving in this video. You only need one cup, one and one fourth, so you'll have to get a fourth of cup too. But you're going to add the sugar to it. That is how you measure one cup. So right there you guys can see we've got one cup. The next smallest, so that is the smallest unit sorry, in the compact, custom capacity. This is the next smallest unit, is um, a pint, and this is, um, obviously you don't need this for your cake, I'm just showing you, um, this is exactly what one pint would look like. So it's larger than a cup, but it's still not very big, it's pretty tiny. Um, then we have one quart. Um, this is the measurement of one quart, you can see that it has all these little um, markings on the side. It shows you how many cups you can put in a quart and all that good stuff, but it does show us exactly what one quart is to the top of that red line. Um, and the last one we have is one gallon. I actually do not have a gallon um, to use to show you what that would look like comparatively to this, but this is about the measurement of a gallon. It can hold the capacity of a gallon of a liquid. So this is about, all of them are about the half of the size. So how many of these can fit in here? About 16 cups can fit in one gallon. How many pints? About eight pints can fit in a gallon. And how many quarts? Typically about four of these would fit in one of these. Now, like I said, this is about a gallon, so this might fit a little bit more than four. But it's typically about four. So if you're baking a cake, these are really essential to make sure that you have the right amount of measurement so that you don't have too runny dough or too, or mixture or too thick of a mixture. It keeps just the right amount. So when you're looking at milliliters and liters, which is the metric capacity, on the back side of most of these you can see liters, which is the metric capacity. One liter is about the same size as a quart, so this is the same measurement. It's about the size of a Gatorade bottle for one liter. If you're looking at milliliters, you're looking about at an eyedropper and the amount of one drop of water. So let me scoot up here and show you guys a little bit more what I mean. So when you're looking at this, you can see that on this side it says cups, correct? And that is the um, the customary side. On this side it says liters, and it even says metric on the bottoms. So about a thousand drops of these will fit in one of these, up to a liter. So this is about what a millimeter is. It's just about one or two, it's one drop is one milliliter. You can see on the side it says ML for milliliters. It shows you the measurement, one milliliter. Right? It shows you the measurement of how many you can fit. You need to think about an eyedropper when you're thinking about milliliters, and you need to think about about a quart for liters. Um, we are going to be blinking a cake video, so if you guys are interested in making a cake at home, it'll be a super easy vanilla cake for you guys to mix at home and use capacity in your own house. Thanks. Have a good day.